not easy making records. It takes weeks of planning, pre-production, mixing, and then mastering before the final cut is ready to go on the album and then to the record stores. It's a lot of work, yeah. and the artists and their producers work so closely together in the studio, it's no wonder they say the relationship is almost like a marriage. Well, Kip Kirby talked with Barbara Mandrell and co-producer Jimmy Bowen, and they set her straight about their working relationship. Oh, I wouldn't agree with that. I've been married a few times. <laughs> I, well, interesting. I find, I find the, the studio experience almost 99% enjoyable. <laughs> so, so I couldn't compare it. It, it is like a marriage in some respects when you work in the studio. The With the exception that a good marriage, yeah, like people are equal. It, really and when a, when a session goes right, when you're, when you're producing an album, it can't be equal because it's the artist's music. Six feet of country. And then they give me the ooh, like, you know, on that part of the... I've joked with Jimmy and said perhaps the reason I admire and respect him so much is because so far we really haven't disagreed. You know, then I might not think he's so smart if we didn't agree. <laughs> but I like that he, he's very demanding, and uh, I am too. And I think it was wrong. Okay, stop it, stop it. Let's go back to the top of that course. After years of working in recording studios, Barbara is as comfortable producing her music as she is singing it. And Bowen says that's just the way it should be. What we're going to do is try one chorus and see how, and then stop and discuss, okay. The trick is to come out the other end of an album project and have an album that's a Barbara Mandrell album. Sure don't want it to be a Jimmy Bowen album because that's not what people buy. They, they buy the, the artist music. You know, I was a bit anxious. Uh, as to how, how is it going to be. I feel quite comfortable. I feel very at ease. So what's the goal with this album for you? Is it to have a number one record? I don't care if it's number one, I just want to hit. I want to sell records. Because I love my work. The total package, the total picture is I like to have every uh, aspect of my career to be my best. Recording wise, I'm hoping that this is something that my friends in radio and that my friends that are the listeners will like. That's the goal every time, of course. But you know, you get gut feelings, and my, my gut feels real good right now. It really does. Barbara's album is called Keys in the Mailbox, and this is her fifth for Capitol Records. And we might mention here that Jimmy Bowen is not only Barbara's co-producer, he is also mm -hmm. the head of Capitol Records here in Nashville. And Good guy. our thanks to Emerald Studios for letting us drop in. You know, Barbara was looking real good there, and yeah. I, I bet a lot of ladies are out there wondering where she gets her clothes. I mean, great stuff. She yeah. always looks terrific. And see, we all know that the clothes make the man or the woman. That's how the saying goes. No, no, that's the woman makes the clothes that make the man. What? I'm kidding and I'm confused too. Well, I really anyway, no, this is true. I've always wanted to know who makes all those great stage clothes that the stars wear. They look good. Well, I'm glad you asked that because today we began a three-part series on just that, the costume designers of the stars. Now.